So let's learn how to find equivalent ratios of a given ratio. So let's take a very basic ratio. Let's say this is simply 1 ratio 2. Now this 1 ratio 2, if we have to represent it in this form, that is 1, 2, 2, right? We say 1, 2, 2. This is 1 ratio 2. And if you write it in this form, that is comparison, comparison by division, then we say it 1, 2, 2. If we have to find some equivalent ratios for this given ratio, then what would be that? So simply what you have to do is multiply this above number and this below number by the same number and then you'll get equivalent ratios. Like let's begin with a very simple one. If we, this is 1, 2, 2, then just simply multiply this with same number. Let's take, we take 2, here also 2. Since we have multiplied with 2, so 1 will also be multiplied with 2 and 2 will also be multiplied with 2 and you'll get 2, 2, 4. 2, 2, 4. Now, let's take one more. 1, 4, 2. Let's find some other equivalent ratios. Let's multiply this with 3. And this also 3. So it becomes 3 or 6. If this is 1 or 2, and if I multiply this with 13, then this will be 13 or 26. If this is 1, and if I multiply this with 100, even then you'll get an equivalent ratio that is 100 over 200. So the point is that if there is a given ratio and if you multiply both the numbers, that is if you represent it in this form, 1, 2, 2, then if you multiply both the numbers with a same number, with the same number, then you'll get an equivalent ratio. Again with the same number, an equivalent ratio with the same number and equivalent ratio and you can find n number of equivalent ratios by just multiplying. Let's take another one. If we have uh, let's say 18, 18 ratio 26. Let's say this one. So if we write it in this form that is comparison by division in form that is 18 to 26. So if I multiply 18 and 26 with, multiply with, let's say, 3. So this will be 54 to 78. If I multiply 18 and 26 with let's say with what with let's say with 5 then you will get 92 this will be 30 and 3 5 to 10 and 30 130 okay so this is one equivalent ratio of this one this is another equivalent ratio of this one and you will say that hey in that way we can find many equivalent ratios of a given ratio yes of course but there is one more way to find equivalent ratio and that is till now we have uh, seen for by multiply multiplication now let's do with division what if i divide this 18 and 26 with the same number like the same number so that should be a common factor of these two. That should be a common factor, remember. So, what number can we take? This is 26 and this is 18. So, if we divide this by 2, if we divide this by 2, then this will be 
9 and 9 to 30, right? If we have, let's say, uh, we have 48 and 48 and 24, okay? If this is another ratio, 48 ratio 24, and if we write it in this form, then this will be, if we divide 48 and 24 with, with 4, then you will get 12 here, 12 to 6, right? So 12 ratio 6. This is one uh, equivalent ratio of this one, 48 ratio 24. And if I have to write this one also, let's write it in the form of ratio 54, ratio 78, and this is 90 ratio 130. Okay. And if we have to find one more uh, equivalent ratio of this one also, uh, only by division. So if this is 48, if this is 48 and 24, if I divide it by, if I divide it by 6, then this will be 8 to 4. So 8 ratio 4. This is another equivalent ratio. Want to find one more? Let's do it. If this is 48 and this is 24, let's divide by, let's divide by 3. So this will be 16 and this will be 16 to 8, that is 16 ratio 8. This is another equivalent ratio of this particular ratio. Want to find one more? Let's do it. This is 48 and 24. If we divide both these two numbers by 2, then you'll get 14, sorry, 24, 2, 12. So this is 24 ratio 12. This is another equivalent ratio. So what's the point? The point is that when you are trying to find equivalent ratio using multiplication, then you can find, I mean, number, n number of equivalent ratios by simply multiplying both the numbers by the same number. And when it comes to find equivalent ratios using division, then you'll have to take the common factor of these two numbers. Divide them with the common factor and then you'll get whatever ratio you get that will be an equivalent ratio. Okay. So this is the way to find equivalent ratios by multiplication and by division.